When we're posting our photos on social media, for instance, Instagram, we're sometimes forced to crop out important parts of our image, which is not cool. An easy fix would be to crop to the 4x5 aspect ratio that Instagram gives us and then add some white bars along the edges, but this is not always desirable. Sometimes this is not a problem, but more often than not, it means sacrificing important parts of our image and we definitely don't want that. Today, I share with you two easy ways to expand your background in Photoshop so you don't have to go through the hassle. Let's jump right in Photoshop. All right guys, welcome to Photoshop. I've got the image fired up already. Now, make sure you unlock the layer by hitting this icon right here to unlock it. Select that layer if it's not selected already and go to select and then subject. Now, Photoshop does a good job of selecting your subject out for you very well. So um, you can use that instead of selecting it out manually. Make sure you have a selection tool selected, either the Mac U2 or the lasso tool. I prefer the lasso tool shortcut is L. So I'll just hit L and have the lasso tool selected. Right click and save selection for me. Now name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Sophie because that's her name and I'll hit OK. Now you deselect by holding down command and pressing D or control D if you're on Windows or just by simply clicking anywhere with the selection tool. Right. Let's go ahead and crop to the famous 4x5 aspect ratio by Instagram. Okay. All right, so for instance, if this is what we, how we want to see our photo on Instagram, yeah? Go ahead and hit this check mark right here. All right, and then go to edit and then content aware scale. If content aware scale is grayed out like that one, make sure you have that layer selected. Sometimes it is the layer that's not selected that's causing that one. So content aware scale shortcut is option command shift C or control alt shift C if you're on Windows. Click that one for me. Go ahead and select this drop down menu. Make sure that selection you saved is selected right so i named mine sophie i'll go ahead and make sure that's selected whatever you named it just select that one i'll hold down option and then shift and then i'll drag like that and it does it perfectly now let's check the before and the after so what's happening here is that photoshop is in its own mind filling up the void for us by expanding the background and protecting the subject right if i zoom in you realize that even the hair strands were protected yeah only the background was stretched right so that is method number one let's move on to method number two This is probably the easiest way, the easiest fix ever, right? I'll go ahead and I'll unlock that layer. I'll go to my crop tool and then make sure four by five is selected. Um, that famous four by five aspect ratio. Yeah. And then crop it like we would. Now this is mostly effective for backgrounds that are not busier. Do you get my point? So if your background is not busy, then this might work for you. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll duplicate the topmost layer just to protect our layer there. And I'll go ahead and select the Mark U2. Make a selection like that. Um, that's not a good selection because we kind of selected part of our subject and we don't want that. So I'll make another selection. And this time we're not actually selecting any part of our subject and that's good. I'll hit command and t to transform hold shift and i'm going to drag it like that command d to deselect and i'm going to do the same for the side so with the mark u2 i'm just going to select it like that i like to select it very close not that close not that close <laughs> very close to my subject hit command t or control t Hold down shift 
and then drag it like that yeah and that's it filled up our background without actually having to add any nasty white bars on the sides now this is just a quick tip for you if your background is not busy and you can actually stretch parts of it like i did with the second method without um drawing much attention to it that you've actually stretched it then i think you should use the second method as that is the simplest one but if you've got a busy background if you shot it in a city or something you've got a lot of things going on in your background then you're better off with the first method thank you for watching this quick tutorial to the end if this helped you in any way please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you have any questions at all please leave it down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer you as soon as possible remember my name is serenjo and this is your footage chef remember to stay creative and as always keep smiling see you in the next video peace